Well, if you've watched the first video of Jennifer and Lana, you, you'll quickly see that their activities are moving along and that uh, Jennifer is coming on. They're having lots of fun times. It's arguably play, but of course we can now observe Lana's intensive interaction principles in order to facilitate the play for Jennifer. Here's an activity that they do regularly. Jennifer likes to get Lana to tap things. We saw that in the first video. And then Jennifer gives Lana attention. First of all, because of the tapping, but increasingly, as we can see, she's interested in Lana. And it's quite common, isn't it, for people who are still at early levels of development as communicators. It's quite common for them to become <laughs> interested in your face in a detailed way. How lovely that Jennifer can do this now and feel comfortable and confident with it. Hold your face and gaze into it and be interested in your mouth and nose and eyes and give sustained attention, therefore, to another person. Within the flow of the play, in fact, the play makes these moments possible. <laughs> and look at this as well. It's still romping play, isn't it? But it's intensive interaction. <laughs> Look at the way Lana operates herself within this play, making herself communicatively and socially available to Jennifer. Constantly enjoying herself, constantly attempting to get lower so that Jennifer can confidently look downwards into her face when there are opportunities. And Lana's not afraid to have fun herself either. That's, that's part of the game. And also, look how much physical contact there is. And look how Jennifer is becoming increasingly confident with physical contact. Clearly enjoying it and clearly relishing the degree of social contact with the other person that comes through touch. This is so important in the development of early communication activity. If you're working or if you know someone like Jennifer, do not hesitate to have these times. Regularly, frequently. I think there's no doubt that in Jennifer's life, in her education, in her development, these activities are the most important. These are the priority activities. We need to commit time and energy and effort and method to having these activities regularly and frequently and then observing and recording the development that takes place for Jennifer. Remember the song that's happening again? <laughs> this surely is a favourite. Do look on YouTube for the other videos from the Intensive Interaction Institute.